Okay, so this is take two, by the way. Did some work on the uh, Pearl to this week. I put this one side on the upper deck. Put the upper deck in, put the rear deck in, put the, not sure what this is, poop deck something, but put the deck in here. All of this needs to be, these two need to be planked still. Realized I should have, um, should have waited to plank the main deck here until after I had this part, it had both in. Part, sorry about that. My wife just let one of the dogs out of here. Because I now have a gap or a seam right here. Not sure how I'm going to fix it. Probably going to plank right over top some of this area and just sand it down to smooth it out. That's better. Sorry, I'm out of focus. But also, I noticed some things that I wanted to point out before I uh, our live stream today tonight with Eric and Mark, because some of the parts are fitting really well. Some parts I got to adjust. There are a couple of parts that were cut wrong. So let me switch cameras. Man, this camera is going out of focus again. It's a great camera when it stays focused. So I'm going to switch cameras again and show you a little bit different view of the ship. Okay, so the the side here went on really well. And you can see here where I've got wires going through. I actually cut some tube styrene, drilled a hole straight down, and I'm using that as conduit. One of the things, I think I mentioned it, I may not have. I've got to plank this. I think I already mentioned it, so I'm not going to go into it. I just need to fix it so that these planks run come all the way up here. The side looks really good. Wires are running down here. I'm going to drill another hole here where you can see that I've done some splicing there. I'm going to drill another hole down here, or actually way down here on the bottom, down there, and run it up to where the rest of the wiring is onto the other side of the ship. And then... Um, you know, wire, wire the, the uh, positive and negatives together over there. Did discover the LED or the uh, resistors that come with it with a single LED on it. They're big resistors. And with a single LED, let me pull this thing up here. With a single LED hooked up, this resistor was getting really, really hot. So I'm not going to be using those. There's four of them. They're supposed to be put in line with all the, you know, split the lights into four circuits and run them all together. So we, the side here looks really well, good. Went together really nicely. Got got a lot of work once I do the planking to get it all completely done um, to where it matches up. So here's where the first one of the first problems I've discovered. This right here is, there's a huge, huge disparity on the sides. Should, this should be like this. I didn't realize it when I put it on. It's not gonna be a big deal. I'm gonna shave it down to where it'll fit, to where this piece here will fit in really well and nicely. You know, once it's, once it's got planks over top of it, it's not gonna be, you're not gonna be able to see it. The only reason you're going to know about it is because that's if you watch this video. So the next part that I realized was off this part here. And that could be me. You know, I could have put that. It might have been that I put that in wrong that side. But since it lines up here, I don't think so. I think this car part just needs to be shaved down. So let me turn the ship and I'll show you the other so show you the other big problem that this has. So on this side, I've got to do the exact same thing as I did over here, put the side walls up. And this is just basically it's a guideline to uh, for the planking and all that. There's gonna I'm not sure how much is gonna be in here. I don't know that there's gonna be any wood on the inside like there was down here. I don't think there is. I think there's just going to be planking. And the back fits fine. You know, it'll, it'll go in really easily. I'll have to actually use it as the guide for where this is supposed to go because the front piece 
It was really a kind of a shock to me when I discovered it. Let me peel this tape off of here. Sorry for the, sorry for the really shaky cam here. So if there's a keyway right here and a keyway right here, and if I line those keyways up, you know, it lines up really nice, but here's the problem. Look at how far it overhangs. It lines up, these two parts actually, I think were miscut. This should actually be back to here. Once it's back to there, it lines up. Sorry, again, again, about the shaky cam doing this one-handed. Actually, it doesn't line up really well. It should line up in the center here. And it does actually with that keyway, but it also has to come down. So it's, it's going to take some work to get this to go where it's supposed to be. Might have been me putting it together. I think actually it's some small defects in the way the parts are, but that's part of the joy of building wooden ships. Pearl's coming together tonight. Tonight is Friday night. We'll be doing the uh, live stream like we have before. Be Eric, hopefully Mark will be there and I. I'll be working on the Pearl. I'll be working on the um, Queen Mary 2. Eric is looking at working on the Pearl. Maybe his, or not the Pearl, the Queen Mary 2, his tank. Not sure what all he's going to do, but we should have a good time. So, just a quick update before that, because I wanted, before I started working on it and clearing up these areas, I wanted to give you guys a chance to see what I'm running into. Great kit. I, I have no problems with this kit. Wooden kits are designed to have, they're, they're not designed to have problems, but pro the problems you run into are very much not insurmountable. Love this ship. It's going together really well. And, uh, Hope to see you tonight at the live stream.